Hi there, good afternoon everybody. It's Rick Adams on Facebook Live. I'm here at Heigl Park in Venice where two dead dolphins were just brought in and uh, that brings the total to six within a 24 hour period. And they do suspect red tide with this. And I'm gonna bring in Paul Joyce who was the one who helped transport uh, these two dolphins here uh, today. And let me flip the camera around. And uh, there was Paul. Paul, uh, how are you? I'm doing doing very well. Very tired, uh, overwhelmed today. Uh, it's been it's been uh, it's been an unusual day, uh, to say the least. I would yes, think. Yes. And with this most recent rescue, uh, the two dolphins that were just brought in here, uh, talk a little bit about. Uh, I guess it's not a rescue, but they they were discovered the and mm -hmm. a recovery, and you brought them here. To, Talk a little bit about that process. So uh, once we uh, were given the uh, notification from uh, Moat Marine, uh, they, they had the exact location of where they both were. We went ahead and uh, responded, myself and FWC, responded to the location at the North Casey Key location where we found these two dolphins. And we were able to go ahead and um, get them um, you know, attached to our boat where we can go ahead and transport them safely back to here without causing any further trauma to them uh, here to the Heigl, uh, Heigl uh, boat ramp where um, we met uh, Moat Marine. Now, how difficult is it dealing with this? Uh, this is your sixth uh, within a 24-hour period. Yes, yes, it, it is very difficult. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, the two that came in this morning, uh, we got that call, and as I'm as I'm just finishing up with that first one that I got at 8:30 uh, this morning. Um, immediately thereafter, uh, we got a call from Moat Marine again that there another one had washed up on the beach uh, around the area of Brohard Beach, which is just south of the uh, Venice Fishing Pier. Okay. Yeah, you were talking about the two on uh, Casey Key uh, around that area and the four in Venice. What what part of Venice? Uh, so so the the two this morning um, uh, that one was here in Venice, uh, right here in the intercoastal waterway behind the area of the uh, the Venice Yacht Club, and then uh, the second one was on the beach at Brohard, south of the Venice Fishing Pier, and the other two uh, yesterday were in the area of the uh, Gulf of Mexico in the area of the Venice Inlet. Okay, and I guess uh, you brought them here, the, the two here, yes. to Heigl Park, Correct. and there was an expert from Moat awaiting you. And what happens after that? So uh, after that point, uh, once Moat takes custody of the uh, the dolphins, they go ahead and transport them to, back to their lab, where they'll do a, a necropsy on on both of them to to, uh, to definitely 100% you know, say that it was a red tide, or could have been something else. But of course, we all know what we're suspecting. But they, they are suspecting a red, red tide, tide uh, yes. unfortunately. And you're out there uh, for many hours. Uh, what's it like out there? Uh, so currently, um, down in this area, uh, I, I personally am not uh, feeling any of the effects of uh, red tide. I am not seeing any of the fish kill in the waters uh, here locally in the Venice area. But as you get further north, north of Midnight Pass, um, you start feel you start feeling the effects of red tide. We, we, we uh, briefly uh, felt it while we were out there in the Gulf, just uh, in the North Casey Key area. We, we noticed a little bit of the red tide, so it is definitely north of us. And you're very close to the situation. What is it like to stumble upon a, a dead dolphin? It, it is very disheartening. Uh, you know, it, no, no one wants to see this stuff. Uh, you know, it, it's one thing to see, you know, uh, small fish and, uh, look, you know, all types of other types of fish. But then when, you know, but then when you start seeing the dolphins and the manatees, you know, the dolphins have, have a very high tolerance to this stuff. And, and to see that, you know, it's very bad. And, and it's, just, it's just very sad to even see this kind of stuff uh, with, with these animals. Okay, Paul, we appreciate the work you're doing here. I know it's not easy work. No, no. It, it definitely isn't easy. You know, it is a lot of work to, to, to have to deal with this kind of stuff, uh, you know, unfortunately on a daily basis lately. And hopefully, hopefully it will start calming down and stop altogether. Yeah, for everybody's sake, especially your sake, I hope it calms down. And, oh. uh, thanks for your time. Oh, uh, no, no, absolutely. Thank you. Okay, that's Paul Joyce with the Venice Police Department who's been helping with these uh, recoveries of the dolphin. And here you see a gentleman just coming in off the water and you see he has a gas mask. So that just indicates how bad it still is out here. It seems like it's improved, but uh, still a, a situation out here you know, with the red tide.
All right, and that's the latest. We'll have a lot more on the story coming up tonight at 11 o'clock. Six dead dolphins found within the last 24 hours. Very sad scene. And uh, two were just brought in here to be uh, transported to moat for a necropsy. And uh, they're just, they just want to make sure and determine that it is red tide that has taken the lives of these uh, beautiful creatures, these beautiful animals. And uh, that, that's the latest. We'll see you tonight at 11. Have a great rest of your day.